Hi, I'm Ryan, and welcome to my coding bootcamp journey. In this series, I will share my experiences as I learned to code through Flatiron School's web development program. If you do know anyone that would enjoy this series, please send them to the link at the bottom of your screen. All right, so what is new this week? So this uh, this week in uh, React, I learned how to do uh, forms and how to sub submit uh, and all and all the and all that kind of stuff, and also uh, passing uh, one component's state into another component for their uh, for props, which which I'll uh, um, get get into that that uh, a little bit more later, and also about uh, life cycle uh, components life cycle is for uh, which I kind of hinted at a little a little bit in the previous video, but. Uh, th this week I kind of learned about like st processes you do like right before mount mount mounting it, which is you know essentially re uh, re rendering. So if there's like any processes, any like logic or anything like that that you need to run before actually re rendering it to the to the page, and uh, the and if if you have to like do up updates and stuff and stuff stuff like that, so yeah, I got uh, covered a good deal of ground ground this week. And as far as uh, str struggles, uh, was uh, re rendering a series of pa past l past as uh, uh, past elements as in p a s s e d. <laughs> <laughs> not not past uh and you know what wasn't uh the struggle i had wasn't necessarily you know how you know how how do you like it iterate through you know as a series and that that wasn't it at all it was more the struggle i had is more where the iteration has to take place and it uh i and the iteration is actually done on the on the on the on the on the parent com component and then you know the and then in the child you just run, render the run, render the prop so so um i had a couple couple uh labs or had to do that and it just took it just took a little little bit for for that for that uh for that to sink in And as far as victories, um, I kind of alluded to it a little, a little bit in in the la last video, but I had a bit of a re revelation as far as uh, props and states, which I wasn't like outright. Uh, I wasn't out and out wrong, um, but I wasn't like completely accurate. But uh, the. the uh, Props are passed from the the parent component, and state is you know, in internal to that particular component. So, uh, so state you state you can change in inside inside of a component, and it's it's like it's like no no biggie. Whereas a prop is passed in. So i i thought I thought of uh what what I think is a good uh pretty. De decent an analogy is let let's say you have a mo mother mother and a child and a prop would be like the child's eye color you know to i mean obviously you can but you can purchase <laughs> you can purchase con con you know colorized contacts and change your eye color but uh the not you know it's not you know it's not the best analogy but <laughs> but it works for me uh so so a prop would be akin to a child's eye eye color you know there's there's nothing to do it's you know that's, again other than you know there that that that's beyond uh the the child's control whereas a state is a hair what is a hairstyle you know, and that, and that a, you know, a, a, aside from pissing off their parents, which all can have any hair, hairstyle they want, you know, the, so, uh, so yeah, um, I, 
called that that a victory i mean any time that you can take a take an ab- abstract idea and kind of put put it into more uh fit physical terms I, yeah I, it's um at, at least that at least that help that helps me when uh learn when learning new uh new new ideas and whatnot and i was working and another victory i had is i was working on a lab where i I was hook, hooking into uh, Giphy's a- API, and Giphy is uh, G uh, I P H Y. It's a site with a ton kind of GIFs or GIFs, you know, which, whichever whichever side of the fence you're on, you know. Me, I'm Swiss, <laughs> you know. It's like whatever. <laughs> and anyway, so I was I, I was working on a lab where I was hooked. You know, render. Uh, it was a uh, GIF uh, search search lab where you en- enter in a search term, and it gives like, you know, how however you know, and and it re- renders a, se- a series of these an- animated GIFs. And as I was working through it, I uh, at at one point I thought that I would have to Im- implement a li- a life cycle met method at, at at some at some point um just so well the the thought i had is you know someone does a search for fan and it re- renders like you know say 10 10 in animated gifs of fans and then uh, on a subsequent search uh you know someone looks for sharks and then, and my my thinking at the time of at at the time that I was work, working through it, um, they that the uh, the the sharks would be just re- rendered right right above the right above the fans, and then you'd have like this you you know you'd have the scroll monster of a web web page with all all these get you know so. I was thinking that I would have to implement a life cycle method to re to re- reset it so that it's only, you know, showing the gifts that uh that they searched for and turns out that I didn't I didn't have have to do that. <laughs> and uh you know, it was a you know, small small victory, but uh I I think it was kind of in the way that I was I was uh had to build build it a, as well. Where the ren- the actual rendering com- component what wasn't uh, it was it was only aware of the t- of the ten gifts that were being pa- passed into it, and with each search, I was running a, I was I was running an API call. With each search, I wasn't uh, pa- passing in all of the previous searches. It was just the 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 results of that of that one search so with so with each one the component that was actually rendering the images o- only knew the data coming from that one particular search so you know yeah and as far as what i'm looking forward to uh pretty uh pretty soon here uh a career counselor is going i mean this isn't at all related to react or what or what's coming coming up next but uh i should be hear, hearing from a career counselor soon and uh and start uh, getting getting to work on uh getting getting ready for ap- applications and and all, and all that kind of stuff so uh so yeah i got i got a lot lot of que- lot of questions and a num- number of things that uh like I iron ironed out before actually uh, getting getting start started on this and or starting that part of the process and really pol- polishing and all all that kind of stuff. So so yeah, that's what that's what I'm uh, looking forward to. So uh, yeah, uh, that's all I have for you this week. So I do thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date, please like and subscribe. Feel free to check out the rest of this series. And if you do have any comments or questions, please post them below. And I'll see you in the next chapter.